What's up everybody? So I wanted to give y'all an update on the Colorado. I told you in the last video that I was going to be doing a video on the Colorado and kind of let you know where we stand on it. What you're looking at right here is a rendering that I had done by Comer Design. That's his logo right there. Um, he was really good to work with, really easy to work with too. Uh, he asked me a bunch of questions, got me to send him pictures and stuff if I had any, and we kind of went from there. But right now, this is the rendering that I got. Uh, it's also the background of my computer. You can kind of see it a little bit better right there. But I'm going to change it up a little bit from the picture. So from about right here up on the cab, I'm actually going to do white. It's going to have like an old school theme to it, if you can tail from uh, the tail lights and the uh, script and the wood bed and stuff like that but I'm going for like a C10 type vibe so from the window up I'm going to do white and this is actually supposed to be like a tartan turquoise that come on the 60s model C10s and I'm going to do that and then I'm going to also change the rim color up to a white the bed is a wood bed, but I'm going to do, what is it, a black walnut bed, sorry. I'm kind of losing train of thought at the moment. But I'm going to do a black walnut bed. And these are actually tail lights and backup lights out of AC-10 as well. I think a 60s model fleet side. And then I'm going to do the Chevy uh, script right here in white as well. The door handles are off of a 60s model C10 the mirrors are off of a 50s model Chevy Apache and I'm going to try to fab up a metal bumper something kind of like a S10 bumper maybe a or get like a two-piece metal bumper from a Colorado because the upper portions are metal and maybe get another one flip it upside down weld them together and kind of smooth it all out just to make a metal bumper kind of because I'm calling for like an old school theme the name of the truck is actually going to be descendant because I'm going to do like descend as in lowered and descend it as like a uh, ancestor type thing you know from the old school stuff the interior is going to be a full 55 Chevy Apache interior the metal dash I'm putting the dimmer switch in the floor the steering wheel I'm doing a bench seat and I'm going to actually do a plaid bench seat and then I'm also going to try to do a cow panel right here for the windshield wipers do a metal one I have one off of a s10 it kind of fits uh it's just a few little tweaks and stuff that i gotta do to make it fit but all in all it lays in there relatively good but like i said this right here is what i'm kind of wanting it to look like like i said i'm just going to change the color up a little bit from here the rim color and i'm actually using an s10 frame I do have the front suspension part uh, I already purchased it I don't have it on hand yet and then I'm going to build from the firewall back and then from pretty much the front frame horn back to the suspension I'm going to cut off to make it fit the Colorado but that's pretty much it on that uh, the engine is actually going to be a 250 inline 6 I already have the engine uh, I may do a manual transmission, but I do have a 700 R4 already that I'm going to plan on using as of right now. That could change later on down the road. And I do have a disc brake rear end out of a Chevy Blazer as well. So we're wanting to do the disc brakes just to make you know, brake changes easier. I may even do manual steering on this. Haven't decided yet but I'm kind of leaning towards that. The engine I have, it come out of a 60s model C10. Uh, the engine's already been bored, lined home, the crank's been turned. Uh, it just needs pretty much the head uh, seats ground and reinstall cause they're pretty cracked up, which is a common problem on those engines. But I bought the engine already like that from my local machine shop. I asked the guy if he had one and he said that he had one already machined. He just didn't know what he was going to do with it. But I bought it as is with all the machine work done except to the head for $700. Uh, 
I mean, I thought that was a pretty good price, uh, especially since in my area they are getting kind of hard to find. But I'm going to take y'all outside and show you the bench seat I have. It's in rough shape, but I'm going to have it completely redone because uh, it needs like all new springs. It needs the foam and everything, but it does fit in the Colorado already. And I'll show you what I've done to the Colorado, like all the interiors out of it. I actually took the strut off of the driver's side front just to see how low well it would go with the stop frame and it wouldn't go too far. All right, so we're out in the garage right now. Uh, I'm just gonna show you first. This is the bench seat I pulled out of an S10. It was the only one in the entire junkyard that had a bench seat because there was about four first generation S10s. And like I said, this was the only one that had a bench seat. And if anybody is wondering, this is the exact same width from side to side as the bucket seats in a Colorado. I mean, down to the fraction of an inch. This right here is about 72, I think, and an eighth wide. And from side to side on the seats in my Colorado, it is exactly the same measurement uh, from from here to there I mean to the T but this is the seat that I picked up I am gonna have it recovered I'm gonna have it refoamed and I know it's probably gonna have a lot of work that needs to be done to it but this is what I'm looking for and I would have paid like $20 for this out of the junkyard it's a local junkyard here where I live and uh, it's a little dark outside as y'all can see because it was really hot today and I didn't want to get out in the heat because it was about 96 degrees today where I live but like I said this is the bench seat uh, and the plans for it is to actually do like white on the top and in the middle I'm going to do like hot rod style like I'm going to have it come with the stitch right here and probably on the edge come down probably about right here. And I'm going to do a like plaid design on it that has about like the color of the truck mixture with probably like white in it. And then I'm going to do the outside white and the middle white. And I may even see if I can get like Chevrolet written in the script in the turquoise color right in here somewhere but i'm gonna take you outside and show you the truck now and well actually this is just a little shelf i have it has some of the parts on it i have two of these uh i think they're re8s yeah yeah these are re8 bags yep that's going to go on the rear of the truck and then here's the compressors that I have these are uh, the dual black 440c compressors I'm going to run those in the back of it this right here is the dash support right here and we'll have to mount the 55 Chevy dash to this right here but that's just so I can remove and install it just to make it easier. The truck is not going to have AC in it anymore. And that's by choice. I just want it to kind of, like I said, go with the old style theme. Get the cover off of it. You can probably hear my neighbor's car. So, I know you can't really see it too well, but there's no engine or transmission. That right there is the old strut that come off the front. But I'm not going to use the actual frame anymore. So, if anybody knows of anyone that's looking for a short bed, standard cab, a tool drive frame for a Colorado first generation. I probably will have one up for sale soon. 
I just don't want to scrap it if somebody's needing it. And it's probably it's going to include the rack and pinion, the brake set. It's got brand new brakes on it as well. Um, I'm going to do a smaller booster. I'm going to shave the firewall. I'm probably going to have to recess the firewall in just to get the 250 in line six in here. Then I'm going to get rid of all of the ABS unit stuff. If anybody's interested in that. Here's the actual computer. Like this, kind of dark out here. But the ECU is right there. This was an automatic 2.9 liter Chevy uh, Colorado. The engine is gone. I got rid of the engine. I sold the transmission. Uh, I will have the differential as well that goes along with the frame. Let me sit y'all down for a minute. I'm going to put my hood back on. So here's the interior at the moment. It is torn apart partially, I guess you could say. The dash is gone. I'm going to be getting rid of the heater box, the steering column. If anybody's looking for a steering column out of a 2000 or well, first gen Colorado, you can hit me up. The seats are going to get scrapped. There's our cow panel off of an S10. It's about the perfect width. I just have to change the wiper location a little bit. But that shouldn't be terribly hard. I may have to do some configurating, but we'll just go from there. But I'm going to get rid of the headliner. I'm going to try to do lap belts on the bench seat. All this will come out shortly. And I'll probably even show a video of me taking all this out and some of that good stuff. But like I said, I just wanted to give y'all an intro to the truck. Uh, we'll be doing some possibly frame modifications soon. Uh, should be picking up some uh, metal tubing shortly. Been looking for 3 16 thick uh, two by threes. It's hard to come by in my area. Uh, so I may have to settle for some eighth inch, but talked to an engineer at my work I'm good friends with. He looked at my frame design, said that it's pretty much gusseted it up, embraced all in the right locations, and he wouldn't have an issue driving it if it was his truck. And I should be fine because I'm not doing a high horsepower engine. Just doing a pretty much board over three, uh, 250 in line six. It ain't going to be a horsepower monster by no means. But I just wanted to give y'all a little intro to the truck and show y'all what some of the upcoming videos on this could entail. But I appreciate y'all watching. And if you like the video, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And until next time, y'all have a great day.